Sergio Perez's two race victories this season have come as a bit of a shock to many people. Not because we think he isn't good enough to win races, but because he's beating Max Verstappen to get the race wins. We've seen you all in the comments section saying that Red Bull won't let Perez win a championship over Verstappen. And you might be right, but what Helmut Marko has said will surprise you. Do you want to know more? Then don't go anywhere. Let's start off by addressing the comments you all left on our video. Good news for Sergio Perez. We agree with you. Red Bull will probably favor Max Verstappen with decisions as the season goes on. Whether that is team orders or with the development path of the car, we don't know yet. But for now, the team seems keen to let them race each other. Certainly in Baku, there were no team orders used, and Checo showed he was able to match the lap times that Max was setting. He drove a great race, keeping Max out of DRS range and just managing his lead, something that Hamilton's been praised for for years now. I was loving the discussions in the comments about Red Bull potentially favoring Max and whether or not Perez could fight him all season, so thanks for all the comments. Something that came up a lot in those discussions was the key ingredient to being an F1 driver champion, consistency. I want to give you a quote from Gunther Steiner's new book, which is basically a diary of a year as a team principal in F1. The whole book is well worth a read, but this quote highlights just how important finding consistency is. I won't do the accent, but just imagine it in his voice. He's talking about Roman Grosjean driving an IndyCar and how well he was doing in his first season. I always said on a good day, Roman could have been world champion. He just could never get the consistency right. Also, when he had a bad day, he really had a bad day. You could probably say that about a lot of drivers, in that they can beat anyone on their day, but their day doesn't come around often enough. Think about the last decade's world champions. Max, Lewis, and Seb. All of them were incredibly consistent when they had the right vehicle to challenge for race wins. Checo has the right vehicle now, but can he match Max's consistency? Marco seems to think he can't as he predicted that Max will be back on top in Miami. There, I see Max in front again, Marco said ahead of the Miami Grand Prix. In qualifying as in Baku, Leclerc could be fast, but the race should be ours again. And I'm sticking to my guns. Over the season, Max Verstappen is the man. He's the more consistent one. Based on the evidence of past seasons, it is hard to argue with Marco's assessment of his drivers. Max has already proven he is consistent, so he's the safe bet to beat his teammate. But could Checo surprise us all? Marco does admit the Mexican driver is doing the right things to prove everyone wrong. There was an element of fortune to how Perez got ahead of Verstappen during the Baku Grand Prix, the timing of the safety car's appearance, punishing Verstappen who had been leading. But after Verstappen swiftly repassed Ferrari's Charles Leclerc, Perez had his teammate under control all the way to the checkered flag. Even before the safety car came out, Perez was catching Verstappen to the point that Red Bull were forced to pit Max to stop Perez from passing him on track and guaranteeing the race win on merit. When Marco appeared on the F1 Nation podcast, he warned not to underestimate Perez, with 1996 world champion Damon Hill having suggested that the unlucky Verstappen seemed to be faster than Perez in clear air. An all-Red Bull title scrap could be very much on then, and Marco highlighted Perez's progression since joining the team. He was unlucky with the safety car, yes, but Sergio on the street circuit? He has the most podiums here, so don't underestimate Sergio, Marco stated. He changed a lot since he came to us. He started working. Before, he was a Mexican race driver who was enjoying life. He still does, but he does the necessary work. Verstappen didn't arrive at Red Bull as the finished product. He wasn't the consistent monster he currently is. Actually, when he joined, he was erratic. He was all over the place, and people constantly used that as a reason why he would never be able to compete with the best in the sport. Red Bull turned that around, though. Something about how they manage and train their drivers behind the scenes helps make them into something great. Damon Hill compared the Checo situation to Daniel Ricciardo's, who returned to Red Bull as a third driver for the current campaign, having seen his nightmare McLaren stint ended early after two underwhelming years. Red Bull team boss Christian Horner has said that in Ricardo's time away from Red Bull, involving stints with Renault and McLaren, he had picked up habits which made him a driver which they did not recognize from their past time together. It was clear when he came back that he picked up some habits that were not, that we didn't recognize as the Daniel that had left us two or three years earlier, Horner claimed. They also said the similar thing about Daniel Ricardo coming back to them, Hill noted. They put him in the sim, and they looked at the way he's driving, 
and they were saying he's picked up lots of bad habits. We don't know where he's been, but they've ruined him. And now they're reteaching him, retrain the driver. So at Red Bull, they don't just provide you with the car, they actually teach you to drive as well. And right now, those teachings are working wonders for Verstappen and Perez, the pair demonstrating once more in Baku that even though Leclerc claimed a pair of pole positions in race trim, Red Bull are just unstoppable. Red Bull have been here before though. They have had two drivers competing with each other for position on track, and that caused them issues, notably the 2018 Baku Grand Prix, where Max and Daniel collided while fighting for position. Daniel was still a young driver then though, and Max was nothing like the racer he is now. Marco is comfortable with an intra-team battle unfolding between Verstappen and Perez, and does not expect that the squad will have to intervene like they did in 2018. In Baku, they both fought for the fastest lap until the end. As long as everything stays within reasonable bounds, we won't intervene, Marco stated. You don't have to worry about the atmosphere in the team. It's fine, I'm relaxed about it. As long as we are superior, such a team internal fight is good for everyone. Let's just imagine for a minute that Checo has improved while at Red Bull, to the point where he can fight Max over a whole season. I know a lot of people will say he can't, I'm not convinced either, but I hope we're all wrong so the driver's championship goes down to the wire. So just imagine that he can fight Max all season. The next question has to be, will Red Bull let him? I can actually hear you shouting at the screen, don't be stupid, of course they won't let Max lose to Checo. And you're probably right. Max has been Red Bull's main man since he joined Toro Rosso back in 2015. Since then, he's proved that he deserves that spot as the number one driver as well. Nonetheless, if we take Red Bull at their word, they say that the two are free to fight and they won't intervene. Red Bull boss Christian Horner has declared that Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen are free to race. Red Bull have often been criticized in the past for appearing to favor one driver over the other. Horner, though, claims that as long as they are clear of their competition, they will be allowed to fight. The Red Bull boss told reporters in Baku, At the moment, it's the two of them. There's a slight gap between the rest of the field, but there's 19 more races to go and five sprint races. There's a huge amount of racing and a whole variance of different circuits to go through, so it could ebb and flow between the two of them. There's six points between them after four races, so they're both competitive drivers. They both want to win which is why they're employed by the team. And I think that it's down to what they do on the track. They were free to race today and all year so far, they've been free. Asked if that would continue later in the season, he added, Yes, until the team's interests, if you're competing against a competitor, becomes bigger than the driver's interests. But as it is at the moment, they're free to race. I'll let you make your own decision on whether or not you believe what Christian has to say. The optimist in me wants to believe that Red Bull will let the drivers fight, and for my own enjoyment, I'm going to believe that until proven otherwise. If Red Bull do let their drivers fight, and Checo can show the consistency needed to battle for a world championship, then this season could go right down to the wire. I know that is a lot of ifs and buts, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Do you think Sergio can find the consistency needed, or will Max be far ahead by the time we get to the summer break? Let me know your thoughts down below and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.